These are the latest images of 3i Atlas, and they reveal what may be the most surprising anomaly we've seen from this object so far. Up until now, the only theory that seemed to fit the data was fragmentation, the idea that 3i Atlas is literally breaking apart. So first, let's look at why scientists were almost certain this object must be coming undone, and then we'll examine what the newest images actually show. On November 9th, astronomers captured photos of 3i Atlas displaying a long tail and even a sunward tail stretching millions of kilometers. But for typical comets, gas escapes at only about 1,500 kilometers per hour, incredibly slow by space standards. For tails that massive to form at that speed, the comet would need to eject gas nonstop for months. Yet images taken just days earlier showed no tail at all. To produce tails that large, the comet would need roughly 1,600 square kilometers of sunlit surface area, equivalent to a sphere about 23 kilometers wide. But measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope show that the 3i Atlas is only 5.6 kilometers across. In other words, the comet seems to be acting as if it were four times larger than it really is. So researchers calculated how much material must be escaping from 3i Atlas to create what we see. Estimates suggest it would need to lose around 50 billion tons of material every month, while the entire comet is thought to weigh only about 33 billion tons. But there is a precedent. In 1992, the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 broke into 21 pieces, releasing far more debris than astronomers believe the original comet could possibly hold. Once it fragmented, everything made sense. More pieces meant vastly more surface area, which meant more ice turning into gas, and far stronger jets and tails. That's why, for many experts, the seven gas jets recorded on November 8th, followed by the enormous million-kilometer-long tails seen on November 9th, pointed to one conclusion. The only scenario that matched the physics was that the 3i Atlas had broken into multiple fragments, exposing fresh material and producing activity far beyond what a single intact body could generate. But then something happened that changed everything we thought we knew about this mysterious object. On November 11th, just two days after those dramatic tail images, two astronomers named David Jewett and Jane Liu pointed a powerful telescope in the Canary Islands directly at 3i Atlas. When they published their findings, they gave their paper a deceptively simple title that would send shockwaves to the astronomical community, 3i Atlas, still single, not broken into pieces, not fragmenting, not scattering debris across space, still single. Now you might think they just took a quick look and made an assumption, but that's not what happened here. These astronomers conducted one of the most thorough analyses of a comet that I've ever seen documented. They didn't just glance at the object and say it looked intact. They measured, analyzed, and scrutinized every detail with scientific precision. At the time of their observations, the 3i Atlas was positioned about 1.5 astronomical units from the Sun. That's roughly 214 million kilometers away. The comet was a little over two astronomical units from Earth, which put it about 320 million kilometers from our planet. Despite these enormous distances, the telescope was powerful enough to capture incredibly detailed images. Here's what makes their analysis so definitive. They observed a region around the comet that was approximately half a million kilometers wide. That's a massive area, larger than the distance from Earth to the Moon. They were looking at this huge space specifically to find any signs of fragmentation or debris. What they found was remarkable in its simplicity. One single bright nucleus at the center, that's the solid core of the comet, and it was completely intact. Around this nucleus was an active glowing cloud of gas and dust called the coma, which had a complex shape with various structures within it. They confirmed the presence of two tails pointing in opposite directions, exactly as previous images had shown. One tail was pointing almost directly toward the sun at an angle of about 106 degrees, while the sun was positioned at about 115 degrees. This meant the tail was pointing sunward, with only about a 9 degree difference. This is what's called an anti-tail, and while it's rare, it's not impossible under certain conditions. The other tail was pointing away from the sun in the normal direction at about 301 degrees. But here's the crucial part. These astronomers didn't just look at the comet with standard imaging, they used multiple advanced image processing techniques specifically designed to detect even the smallest fragments. They stretched the brightness levels to reveal faint objects, they created contour maps to show subtle variations in light. They applied false color techniques to highlight different materials. They analyzed the image in concentric rings moving outward from the center, looking for any signs of separated pieces. 
Every single technique they employed was designed with one purpose, to find fragments if they existed. If the three-eye atlas had broken into multiple pieces as the math suggested it should have, those pieces would be spreading out from each other. They would be visible as separate bright spots. They would leave distinct trails of material behind them. But after applying all these sophisticated analysis methods to that half million kilometer region around the comet, they found absolutely nothing. Zero evidence of fragmentation, no separated pieces, no debris trails, no scattered fragments. Their report specifically stated that the imaged region showed no hint of fragmentation. This wasn't a case of maybe missing something small or distant. If 3i Atlas had broken into even just a few large pieces, let alone the 16 or more pieces that the mass loss calculation suggested, those fragments would have been clearly visible and easily detectable with their methods. So we're not dealing with a situation where the comet just appears to be holding together. We're looking at definitive scientific evidence that this object remained completely intact even after producing those impossible tails and losing that impossible amount of mass. Now, here's what makes this discovery so absolutely mind-bending. This comet had just survived the most intense and dangerous part of its entire journey through our solar system. The 3i Atlas passed closest to the Sun on October 29th. During this closest approach, called perihelion, the comet was subjected to extreme temperatures and intense solar radiation. The thermal stress alone should have been enough to crack the object apart, especially considering that comets are typically made of loosely bound ice, rock and dust that's been frozen together for billions of years. But it gets worse. All that gas we calculated was shooting out of the comet creating enormous pressure. When ice sublimates directly from solid to gas, it expands dramatically and creates powerful jets that can literally blow a comet apart from the inside. We've seen this happen to other comets. The internal pressure from rapid gas production has torn apart objects that seem much more solid than 3i Atlas. Yet here we are, two weeks after the comet's closest approach to the sun, and it's not only still in one piece, but it's actively producing those enormous jets in multiple directions. It's like watching a pressure cooker that should have exploded continue to operate normally while steam shoots out in all directions. It's like watching a pressure cooker that should have exploded continue to operate normally while steam shoots out in all directions. The this brings us to the fundamental question that's keeping astronomers awake at night. If this object really is a natural comet, which I believe it is, how is this physically possible? I've been thinking about this extensively, and I have several theories that might explain what we're seeing. Let me walk you through the most promising possibilities. First, we need to consider the age of this object. The 3i Atlas is what we call an interstellar comet, meaning it originated outside our solar system. Based on its trajectory and composition, Scientists estimate it could be anywhere from 7 to 10 billion years old. That makes it potentially twice as old as our entire solar system. For all those billions of years, this comet was traveling through deep space, constantly being bombarded by cosmic rays. These are incredibly high energy particles that slam into objects and gradually change their chemical composition. Think of it as billions of years of radiation, slowly cooking and altering the surface of the comet. The James Webb Space Telescope made a discovery that supports this theory. When it analyzed the composition of the 3i Atlas, it found something unusual. This comet has about eight times more carbon dioxide compared to water than typical comets in our solar system. This abnormal ratio could be the result of cosmic rays converting carbon monoxide on the surface into carbon dioxide over billions of years of exposure. But here's the really interesting part. Those same cosmic rays might have created a strange crusty layer on the surface of the comet. This crust could be causing the ice underneath to sublimate in ways we've never observed before. Maybe it's creating internal channels or pockets that give the comet much more effective surface area than we can see from the outside. Imagine if the comet's interior is like a honeycomb with passages and chambers that we can't detect from external observations. The surface area inside these hidden structures could be many times larger than the visible exterior, which would explain how such a small object can produce such massive amounts of gas. Another possibility is that we're fundamentally miscalculating how much mass is actually being lost. The 50 billion tons per month figure came from analyzing the size and brightness of the tails and working backwards to determine how much material must be present. But what if the tails are just exceptionally good at scattering sunlight? What if they appear much larger and more massive than they actually are? If the real mass loss is only 5 billion tons per month instead of 50 billion, the numbers become much more manageable. That's still an extreme rate of mass loss, but at least it's within the realm of possibility for an object of this size. 
The challenge with this theory is that scientists have been calculating comet mass loss using these methods for decades, and the technique has proven reliable time and time again. If it's suddenly giving us wrong results for 3i Atlas, we need to understand why this particular comet is different. There's also the possibility that 3i Atlas has an internal structure unlike anything we've seen before. Maybe billions of years in interstellar space created a unique crystalline structure in the ice, or maybe the cosmic ray bombardment created some kind of reinforcing matrix that holds the comet together despite the enormous internal pressures. What fascinates me most about this mystery is that every explanation we can think of requires us to expand our understanding of how comets work. Whether it's the surface composition, the internal structure, or our methods of calculating mass loss, something fundamental about our current knowledge needs to be updated. So far, every theory we've explored assumes one fundamental idea, that 3i Atlas behaves like a typical comet, maybe older, maybe more irradiated, maybe chemically unusual, but still recognizable. But the newest data may be pushing us toward a far more unconventional explanation, one that hasn't appeared in comet science before because we've simply never had a reason to consider it. What if 3i Atlas isn't just unusually stable? What if it's designed naturally, not artificially, to survive extreme outgassing in a way that defies everything we've seen in solar system comets? One possibility scientists are now quietly discussing is something I'll call the pressure valve comet hypothesis. The idea that a 3i Atlas contains a network of structural features that release internal pressure through controlled directional vents, preventing catastrophic breakup even under enormous stress. Think of a pressure cooker with a thousand tiny safety valves. If traditional comets are fragile balloons that burst when internal gas builds up, 3i Atlas might be the cosmic equivalent of a reinforced diving submarine with channels, fissures, and porous networks that release pressure smoothly instead of explosively. Several pieces of evidence actually support this idea. The jets are too stable to be random. The seven jets recorded on November 8th weren't chaotic. They were coherent and directional, almost as if they were emerging from specific pathways rather than random cracks on the surface. Typical fragmentation produces chaotic, tumbling debris and erratic jets that change direction as pieces rotate. But 3i Atlas showed stable jet geometry, consistent with fixed internal conduits rather than fractures. The anti-tail suggests unusual dust dynamics. The sunward pointing anti-tail isn't just weird, it hints that dust is being released in very specific particle sizes, the kind that are easily captured into the plane of the comet's orbit. This level of fine-grained dust sorting usually happens only when material is funneled through narrow openings. This could mean 3i Atlas is not shedding material from its entire surface, but from precisely shaped vents. The coma's structure looks layered. Jewett and Liu's analysis noted a complex coma with subtle internal structures. They did not interpret these as fragments because they weren't, but they could be the overlapping traces of multiple directed jets from deep inside the nucleus. Imagine a geyser field on Earth, where pressure finds dozens of preferred escape paths through the rock. The surface looks calm, but below it is a labyrinth of channels and chambers. Cosmic rays could have reinforced the nucleus. Over billions of years, cosmic rays don't just alter chemistry, they can also change the physical structure of ices. Molecular bonds break and reform, creating denser, more cross-linked materials. Interstellar radiation might have transformed parts of the comet into something closer to a rigid foam or even a lightweight crystalline lattice. In other words, the outer layers of 3i Atlas may not be fragile at all. They may be hardened by eons of cosmic irradiation. This hardened shell could act as a pressure regulator, forcing subsurface gases to find specific escape points rather than rupturing the entire comet. If the pressure valve comet hypothesis is correct, then 3i Atlas may be the first object we've ever observed that manages its own internal pressure. Not intelligently, of course, but structurally, through natural processes that evolved over billions of years in the interstellar medium. The implications are enormous. It would explain how a small comet can produce gigantic tails without disintegrating. It would explain the sudden explosive activity, followed by surprising stability. It would explain why no fragments appear even when mass loss is extreme and it would suggest that interstellar comets may be fundamentally different from anything formed in our solar system. In this model, 3i Atlas isn't defying physics. It's revealing a new kind of physics for comets, shaped not by the sun but by the harsh ancient radiation of the galaxy itself. If this theory is true, then every interstellar object we've seen so far, Oumuamua, 2i Borisov, and now 3i Atlas, might just be showing us tiny glimpses of a whole category of objects that follow rules we are only beginning to understand. And that leads us to an even deeper question. 
If 3i Atlas can survive this close pass around the sun intact, what will it do next? So the 3i Atlas has shown us that there's still so much we don't understand about these ancient visitors from beyond our solar system. We've explored how the initial observations made fragmentation seem inevitable, how the latest images prove the comet is still intact, and the cutting-edge theories that might explain this impossible behavior. Whether it's billions of years of cosmic ray exposure creating a unique surface crust, hidden internal structures we can't detect, or errors in our mass loss calculations, this comet is forcing us to think in entirely new ways. The most exciting part is that we're still actively observing 3i Atlas as it continues its journey through our solar system. Every new image and measurement brings us closer to solving this puzzle and potentially revolutionizing our understanding of interstellar objects. What do you think is the most likely explanation for 3i Atlas's impossible behavior? Share your theories in the comments below. I read every single comment and love discussing these cosmic mysteries with you. Thanks for spending your time with us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll be the first to catch our next adventure. Your support truly means the world. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead.